Bristol Food Connections is a unique city-wide food festival celebrating the city's thriving and diverse food culture. This year, the festival is encouraging people from all over Bristol to share their food skills with the world in an initiative called Pass It On. So Food Connections, um, I think it, it's a great festival, um, bringing the whole of Bristol together around food, passing on skills, just trying to bring the city every part of the city together to, um, to embrace food and represent yeah. food the best that they can, yeah. So today we're going to go through the famous Indian spice blend called garam masala. One thing to say about garam masala is that there's quite a lot of variation. It goes from, you know, spice blends that have about five spices in them up to 15 spices. The spices that are the core for garam masala, black pepper, clove, cassia or cinnamon, and cardamom, so every single type of spice mix, spice mix will have those four spices within it and anything else is sort of to your preference yeah. and, and, and taste. You know, try and change things up for the sort of recipe that you're, um, you're doing or the, the food that you're making. Um, so the first things first with the spices, if you toast them first, that helps to release its natural sort of oils and flavours. Keep an eye on the pan because you want to yeah, toast and release the oils but you don't want it to burn. No. So the spices have now cooled down completely, um, meaning we can now go on to grinding the spices. So if you've got different settings, I use the, the lowest setting. If you don't have a spice grinder, you can just use a, a, you a do get a more of a coarse spice mix. But it's great to um, you know mix it up in some yogurt, marinade some chicken. That works really well. 